Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day where I'm attempting to watch everything, everything, and that includes season two, episode six of Invincible, streaming now on Amazon Prime. And we left off on a humdinger of a, things went shit quick. Is Kate really dead? Kate's dead dead. I was never really necessarily a Kate stan. However, I didn't want her to die. And I had Kate's powers. Can can, could I leave an extra one of myself behind or when she duplicates, do they all have to be within a certain space of each other? That wasn't really made clear, but she, she went, oh, oh, and Adam girl, whatever her name was, Adam girl, that went wrong bad and Rex lost a hand and then we got the sequids and everything and Eve is, and shit's going down y'all. And I, I want to see how they get out of this if they do. I don't know, but I'm so glad that you are all here with me for this adventure. So we're gonna get under the big cozy blankets. You're gonna hit subscribe because I would appreciate that. You're gonna remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. Hope you have your favorite beverage with you and let's get to it. I know some of y'all sometimes ask me like, you don't drink, how do you still be festive when you don't drink? Let me tell y'all, just lime juice with ginger ale is delightful. Well, half a lime juice, bunch of ice, so good with the ginger ale. Okay. Uh, 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 just do it, you prick. <gasps> he did it? He did it. And and none of them had an emergency Cecil, my help! We are losing the battle button anywhere on them. Come on, Eve, get up. Rudy. Rudy. Oh, he's was working. I'm like, what is he doing? Almost done. Ah. Oh no. Rudy, work faster. Done. Get this close to Russ and then press the button. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Hello. I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know Quit it. talking and just do it. Don't fail. Don't stop talking, just do it. I can't keep them. <laughs> because we just saw him took out the other guardians, I, I don't know who's going to survive this, except maybe Mark. So that's why this is way more tense. You're not done yet. We told you we were too powerful. Oh no. Oh no. You okay? Yeah. Agree to my demands and I will consider not destroying half of the nation. <laughs> Um, Rex? Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would expect. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I said, shut up! Does he have some sort of healing powers we have not been told? Uh, please, please, please nothing. Uh, He's hitting him with his stubby hand. How? Are you all right? No. I'm fine. You know me. I'm practically. <laughs> she gonna come out. She gonna come out. Jeez. She must have gotten super, super, super small, I would hope. You saved us from the sick week. Not yet. We are grateful. 
But we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. Oh yeah, you can leave him. <laughs> Me? You must remain here for punishment. Fair. What kind of punishment? Death. Oh. I understand. <laughs> So what's to stop the Martians from coming to Earth to take their vengeance out on Shapesmith? Sorry. Sorry. Good work. Thanks. Ooh, now that is an interesting possible dynamic where Immortal kind of becomes a dad to Mark. Ooh. Thank you for the update, Cecil. I'm glad Mark and the others are safe. But that's not the only reason you're here. Mm -hmm. He has an entire department dedicated to superhero children. Right. Where are those children now? Who's been raised in this facility? After everything Nolan put you through, no one expects you to raise this kid. Let us help. Mama. <gasps> your mom is far, oh. far away. And your dad is a piece of shit. <laughs> that's what she's thinking. And let me remind you that I raised Mark, who just saved the world. That's true, Debbie. Again. Mm -hmm. I'm more than qualified to do this. Welcome back, Captain Livingston. <laughs> Can I go home? I just want to go home. I would want to, too. <laughs> You're lucky you only got some in your ears. Uh -oh. It was bad. Oh, all of Kate's bodies. Oh, that's terrible. Good job, Oliver. Oliver? Oliver. Bra -bra. Oliver. Where'd Debbie get toys? Like little kids' toys. All of a sudden. Oliver. You named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name. Besides Nolan's alien baby. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe Kate is gone. Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior, though her powers came from a family curse. Oh, that's a possibility. She believed they were a gift. Ooh. That was Kate's real power. Her unwavering belief that this world is good, even when it killed her over and over and over again. That's true. Kate Shaw was a kindred soul. I'm glad it didn't rain. Kate hated the rain. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved her, man. I loved many others before Kate. But this, this is different. I thought we had more time together. That's so sad. I've got lots of thoughts. Lots of thoughts. Oh, broken hearts. Oh, no. How's your mom? Uh, sorry, you go. No, no, you go. Well, how's your new brother? Is he adjusting? Uh, Oliver's doing great. My mom's still getting used to chewing his food for him, though. Um. <laughs> it, it turns out Thraxen babies don't have enzymes to break down solid food. Okay, can I just say this feels like a first date? I really thought college would be different. You've barely been there. He's barely been there. And I have no one to talk to about it. I mean, sure, there's William, but he's more your friend than mine. Both these, were there, were those broken hearts a sign of things to come? So, what do we do now? Mark, oh, look who's Rick. back! <gasps> Whoa, Rick. Rick? How are you feeling? Hi, Mark. I guess I'm fine. How? He was part cyborg. I'm here to help facilitate his transition. If there's anything I can do, just call me. Is he all cy cyborg now, like Donald? I guilted the college into giving you a private room in the dorm next door. Wow, Rick looks exactly the same. It's like nothing happened. Something did 
happen. Uh huh. He went through intensive body reconstruction. Uh huh. Trauma can resurface. Donald, are you okay? Tell William I'll check in later to see how Rick's doing. Well, you look like shit. And that's coming from a guy that looks like this. Heard you're getting a new hand, too. Lucky me. So what? How's... What are Rex's powers? I know he's Rex explode. He makes things explode, but... Does he make the stuff? But he carries the things, or she's just exploding proof. Am I making sense? Because I'm also trying to watch this. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman I've ever dated. What is it about being a superhero where we go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time? <sighs> Jesus. All right, let's hear it. <gasps> Mark. Oh, hey. You here to see Rex? Yeah. Oh, these, uh, turns out Rex really likes home decorating magazines. I think it's because he's never really had a home. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Eve! Ugh, the bearer of spring colors and waterfall countertops. <laughs> I just ran into Mark and... Ugh, I know, right? He and Amber are... Wait, what does that mean? Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Ten best bedroom makeovers? Uh, yes, please. Mm, weird how they're teasing that. Children on my life. Your resume is very impressive. Is this a plant from Cecil? But I don't think you're the right fit for us. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. <laughs> Hi. Now, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. <laughs> now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer. <laughs> As you can see, I have extensive experience. My philosophy on child rearing is simple. Encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. Ah. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. While giving him structure and a safe space to grow and learn. There's only a handful of people in the world with my skill set. That is very true. I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil. She's providing a very tempting argument. Real nice place you made here, Eve. Mm. I wanted to thank you personally for helping out with the whole Sequit business. And to once again offer you a spot on the Guardians. Cecil. Duplicate's dead. Ray and Rex were in the hospital and Immortal is... Broken. Let's be frank, his head is not in the game right now. I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be. And that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. Thanks for your time, Eve. I'll leave you to your guest now. A guest. You up there? <gasps> Can we talk? Are we gonna get the skinny? <gasps> Ooh, who's he making a soup for? And he just lets his door be opened by anyone. What's on your mind? Well, um. Ah, I see. <laughs> Girl trouble. <laughs> Zing! It's all over your face, kid. It, it feels like the universe is conspiring against us. I've only dated one guy. Rex was my first serious boyfriend, which is sad and embarrassing. But you're a teenager, so that's not unexpected. Mark puts himself on the line for people he doesn't even know, and that takes real guts to not care what anyone else thinks. Do I want this little side quest into Mark's personal life? Or are there other things I would like to see happen? Like Angstrom Levy. What's up with that? What's up with Nolan up in Belchmark? Alan! Alan's doing alive and well. Whether it's a tsunami or some psycho with rocket launchers. I think I kind of want to know what's going on with them more. Because I'm doing exactly to her what my dad did to me and my mom. If you guys can't always be together, then make the times you are together count. When we're together, I feel guilty. Like I'm taking him away from people who really need him. But maybe he needs a break from that so we can go back out. I feel, I feel like, like I'm failing, failing Amber. 
You're not saving the world right now. Yeah. And Mark's back on Earth, so I guess the question you have to ask yourself is... Why are you there? Why, why are, you are you here talking, talking to me when, when you, you should, should be, be talking, talking to him? Go home, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the personal side of being a superhero is important to the overall arc of the character. I get that. I get that. Writing superhero novels myself. But it's not the most exciting part of the story. <laughs> I got his travel books from the library, but nothing popped out. No one wrote more than just travel books. What? Art has them on. Art has them on standby. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? <laughs> Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. After the quad got destroyed, they just rebuilt it exactly the same. I don't remember this. Commemorates D.A. Sinclair's uh, victims. You're the only one who uh, recovered. You hungry? <laughs> sure. I see flashes sometimes, but it's like I'm watching someone else's nightmare. Is this the best thing for Rick? Speed through him back in school? The man with the invincible gun. Catchy title, Dan. And you start in the middle. <laughs> I know. But in all of them, one detail remained constant. The Infinity Ray. It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. For it wasn't a weapon to be used in haste. Then how did he get it and come by it? Who made it? I wonder. Out loud. <laughs> it does go on for infinity. It goes on for infinity. Oh. It poses a huge threat to our mission. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh. After finding no usable resources, my partner and I were ready to return home. Until. The planet had other plans. Oh. It took her head off. In an instant, I was surrounded. Swarmed, overwhelmed, but because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. I had grossly underestimated these creatures, and I feared this place would be my grave. Wait. He's heard this story before. What is that? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. Is it the Martians? How many men? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, where did Invincible say he lived again? Crap, this is gonna be tricky. Jesus. Okay, it, it, it's just this implant I have. It lets us communicate telepathically. It's not a big deal. Get out of my head! Oh, oh. Just looking for Invincible. Invincible? Omni-Man sent you! Uh, no! Uh, I do not want to hurt you, sir. Who uh, would you cross the line with that one? Is this when a mortal dies again? What the hell is going on? And then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags? <laughs> My thing only works between me and someone else, not between two other someone. Right. Um, can you tell him? Hi, sir. Mark says I'm a pal. He also says I'm essentially the king of space, uh, so you should be very nice to me. Also, he says he hates your dumb beard because it's missing all the best parts of a beard. I thought you were someone else. As he just floats away. Will you just point to where you live? Oh God, please don't let Rick be here. He is he's not ready for this crowd. Yeah, Amber, just because your boyfriend's off and about doesn't mean you don't, you, you can still have fun. Make your own life, your own existence. You know, on my planet, sock on the door means somebody's fucking. Yeah, it's the same here. <gasps> oh no. And Amber's gonna see the sock, but so will William be on the outside. Oh. My boss Thetis is also a Viltrumite. It turns out he rebelled against the Empire like years ago. Do you think my dad's dead? Viltrumites are weird about killing their own people. I think because it doesn't happen much anymore. 
On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Not asking. I'm just here to do it. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. Amber and I are in a weird place. And now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. Are we going to have to fight now? I don't fight friends because I would win and then I feel terrible. It's a vicious cycle. This place sounds kind of familiar. Hey, is that Space Racer? He is legendary in that no one is sure if he's real or not. <laughs> That's why my dad wanted me to read his books. He's telling us how to defeat the Empire. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. In order for a Viltrumite to be executed, he must be healed. That's what I thought. They're waiting for him to get his best. And they could take him down. There is a path to redemption. Rejoin your people, Nolan. Let this not be your legacy. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Sounds like this guy may need a moment on Earth. Chill out some. That planet and its people are toxic if they could do this to you. They too pay. It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place too. I was wondering about that. Rex comes back and there's another Rex. <coughs> they should just give an original Rex a new place altogether. <coughs> there's a sequin inside of him. <coughs> yep. Let me help you with the jacket. What's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. Right this second. Ah, uh, it is good to be home. <laughs> and where is that exactly? <laughs> this episode was kind of all over the place, wasn't it? Where we had a whole group dealing with the loss of Kate and Ray's uh, and Rex has found a new purpose in life, maybe possibly, but he's not doing well. And then we took a long time with Mark and his relationship. Okay. Spending some time is one thing, but it felt too long for me. Mortal. Interesting. Yes. Here's the thing, <laughs> as I'm bouncing, I'm gonna bounce around myself. No, so when Kate died, and I was trying to figure out why I was so upset by Kate dying, and I think in the back of my mind, I was remembering that she is essentially still, a, she's a teenager. She was part of the teen group that we met in season one. They were a teen superhero group. So she wasn't that old, and I think that's why I was so upset, was because she was so young to have died. And she did seem like, you know, her life wasn't that bad. If she died again and again and again and again, a lot of death in a young life. And I think that's why I was so upset. So I'm kind of getting where a mortal was as well, or maybe the reason it upset him so much because he, because she was young and he thought they did would have more time together. What she missed out, he's essentially lived several lives. I don't know, that was very intriguing to me. <laughs> I could be done with the cichlids. We did their time with them. They're gone. Do we need them back? Uh, Angstrom, what the hell's with Angstrom? Uh, uh. Yeah, it almost seems like there's too many storylines going at once. And I think I would, I, I would like to see if they just kind of streamlined it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's basically where I match right now. What are y'all thinking about this? This part of the season, season two so far, very different vibes and themes than season one. Still enjoyable, but different. Yeah, but okay. So thank you so much for being with me for this adventure. I do appreciate all of you being here with me as we watch some wacky shit. So, but in the meantime, okay. Take care of yourselves, stretch your bodies. This is a reminder to stand. Go grab some toast and then come back and watch the next video in the queue because I'm going to watch something now completely different. <laughs> so thanks again, y'all, and until next time.